Really? He's doing a pretty good job, I'd say. And you know, it's a little known fact, Tim was actually the inspiration for the, uh, the State Farm ad campaign with Aaron Rodgers, you know, the old discount double check. Really, it's no coincidence, okay? But seriously, Tim, turning 50 is, is a big deal. You know, it's that time of your life that you and hell, all of us for that matter, we should kind of assess our diet, the amount of alcohol we consume, and maybe even consider getting a little more exercise. But I am glad to hear that um, Tim and Ann did just recently join the gym. Hello. Again. <laughs> it's like the fourth time. Yeah, Tim has been relocated with his job like four times to get out of his contract. <laughs> but seriously, they joined about six or eight weeks ago. Uh, same gym that I go to. I see Ann there all the time. I mean, three days a week, she's doing her body pump. And I gotta tell you, Ann, you're looking good. Looking good. But I still haven't seen Tim. But according to Ann, you know, he did go for a run the other day. So I was, I was proud about that. He's starting, you know. Turns out it was a beer run. <laughs> but, you know, you gotta start somewhere. You know, speaking of working out, I mean, Tim's idea of weightlifting is standing up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna continue the fun here. I'm gonna bring Mr. Randy Fern up here. I believe he's got a little story to tell us. Randy? Uh, what an honor it is to be here for Tim's 50th birthday. You know, I've known him for a handful of years. And saw what he's like in a, as a Packer fan, and I wanted to just kind of share with you, can you hear? I wanted to share with you his background and his history because he has got the most interesting life of anybody that you'd ever meet. So I wanted to start back from the beginning. <laughs> Tim Ray, The Life and Times. <laughs> now Tim, when Tim learned as a young person, the two, the two most important things to have in his hand all the time were the TV remote, and well, I think they call it in Wisconsin, the brats. And Ann confirms that he still has those habits. Well, as Tim was growing up in, in the Milwaukee area, he was a misguided youth. He joined the gangs. He did things that his parents really didn't appreciate. But as he joined these gangs, he got into organized football. And so he started a football team. And a little, a little fact that people don't know on the history is this gang would shake down the local businesses for protection money. And one of them was called the, the Indian Packer Company. And they couldn't pay their debt that, that week, so they bought them uniforms. And hence, you know the rest of the story. Tim was the leader. Tim wasn't a very good athlete. He didn't know what position to play. So he, he every time, the coach ended up calling him the biggest drawback on the team. But this led to bigger things when a new coach came to town. This coach embraced him, took him under his wing, and tried to guide him. They had success. And this is where Tim learned his, his secretive move. He loved to have his hand by a man's crotch. You can see him on the sidelines. He wasn't much of a good football player. He would hang out with the, with the players, enjoy his time. And this is where he made his mark on society. Because at, at this point, he started to sit in the stands, and he got drunk one day, hard to believe. He fell out of the stands, and while he 
was trying to get back into the stadium, this this started what is now called the Rambo Leap. Oh! Circus. 
He loves that guy because all he did was drink it. So he finally opened the perfect can. He thought he would combine his beer drinking affection with beer driving. But alas, his SMB goes, Pacho and Beal, they put him down the bad road. He started drinking, and disaster hit. He lost the load. So then he formed another gang. And they were fueled up on Jose Cuervo. And Tim prided himself with trying to take the youth of the neighborhood France. You'd see Tim driving around the 95. Now most people just take a beer cooler with them. Tim has to one up everybody. He never went home without that beer fridge. He became enamored with hunting, but we all know Tim's personality. He couldn't sit still long enough. So then his son-in-law talked him into fishing. Now he really enjoyed fishing. He was a much better fisherman. He caught trout. Oh my God. The real problem with no! <laughs> this was Tim was such a bragger that him and his brother always wanted to have a bigger trout. Oh, no! And as we know, there's only one woman in this in this room that knows the true answer. He's not quiet. <laughs> so Tim got in with one of ten Ks. Oh, no! They turned into twenty Ks because he couldn't follow our direction. <laughs> And this was the ultimate. He became the president of the karaoke night club. <laughs> You'd see him around town stalking, stalking celebrities. You'd see him the most interesting man. He thought he did most of that.